chatting to Pat Lambie a little bit about his career and his thoughts on pursuing a career as a professional sportsman. Pat, first of all, can you tell us a little bit about what you enjoy about your career and what made you decide to pursue this route? Um, I've always loved sports. I've played all sports growing up um, when I was younger. Um, rugby is my passion as well and I've been very fortunate um, to be blessed with, with talent and I've had to work hard and uh, yeah, I, I really love being able to play sport as my profession and, and to wake up in the morning on Monday to Friday and um, go to work is, is putting on my rugby boots. It's lovely to hear. And Pat, what would your advice be to scholars who are considering pursuing professional sport as a career? Look, I think if um, for any girl or boy in school, if, if they have a dream um, to play sport as a profession, they shouldn't. There shouldn't be anything that stops them from doing that. Um, in saying that, though, it is always important to have a backup plan. Um, I think it would be it would be silly to presume that that it's going to work out and that that everyone's going to make it. Um, so it's important to study something as well. Um, to get a degree or diploma behind your name. Um, it's, it's the advice that I was given and um, I'm extremely thankful for that because I know that now I've got a piece of paper behind my name. Um, even if I don't use it ever, it's just it's really nice if I, if I pick up a serious injury in the next match and I can't play rugby anymore. Um, I know that I've got something um, to my name and that I won't uh, fall five years behind. Exactly. And Pat, what, what did you study and where did you study through? Um, I studied a BA in Environmental Management and I studied through UNISA, so I did it part-time. Um, and it took a little bit of discipline. Um, obviously, I, I didn't have any lectures to go to. Um, no one telling me uh, you have to do my homework or um, make sure that my assignments are in on time. Um, but I think in every sport now, there's definitely enough downtime to be able to study as well on the side, even if you do one or two modules a semester. Um, it's just about um, yeah, chipping away at it and eventually you'll, you'll have a degree in. Um, I think a, a huge part of it as well, which I've really enjoyed, is, is knowing that my, my brain is um, still being used. I'm not sitting around like a, like a vegetable um, playing PlayStation or something in between practices. Um, it's been really nice to stay stimulated mentally and it's actually helped my sport as well. Okay. And what made you choose that degree specifically? I chose a BA in Environmental Management because um, Geography was my favourite subject at school um, and the degree was made up mostly of Geography with a bit of Economics and Tourism and a few other bits and pieces in there. Um, but the advice that I was given leaving school was that if I was going to be studying part-time it was important to do something that I'd enjoy um, which would make it easier um, it make it easier to do, so um, yeah, I wouldn't dread having to open my, open my books at night or in between practices. Yeah, very good advice, doing, choosing something to study that you enjoy. And Pat, one last question from me. As a scholar, how do you know if you've got what it takes to be a professional sportsman or sportswoman? Sure, I think it's very difficult to say. Um, I can, I can honestly tell you I've been very fortunate in my career so far. Um, I've had some coaches that have backed me, I've had a few um, opportunities that have given them or presented themselves to me um, at a young age. Um, I think it's, it's all about working hard towards your dreams and when those opportunities come to grab them with both hands. Thanks so much Pat, thanks for your time and for your advice. It's a pleasure.